everyone, my name is Fleur and I am going to share with you a 45 minute Vinyasa flow and I hope that you are practicing safely at home so if you have any injuries or limitation or restrictions that you know of um, then please practice safely and mindfully in your own home and uh, let's start. So bringing yourself into a comfortable seated position, you can sit cross-legged or on your knees or anywhere that feels comfortable for you. Let's start by tuning in by bringing our hands onto our thighs or knees. Take a moment to feel into the spine, lengthen the spine upwards, drawing your chin slightly in so that you draw the throat in and the spine automatically finds its nice tall posture and then take a deep breath in through the nose and exhale sigh out through the mouth and with the exhale slowly start to close your eyes and take a few moments just to feel into your body allow the breath to fall down into the belly see if you can even release the belly a little bit Feel the breath expand through the sides of the ribs and on the next exhale, allow your shoulders to soften down the back. Let your face become soft, so maybe your jaw still feels a bit tight. See if you can let the jaw become loose, so there's a gap between the teeth. Release the area between your eyebrows. Let the face become really soft. And then put your awareness on your breath. And just notice the gentle flow of breath as it comes in through the nostrils, down the throat, expands the chest, the ribs, lets the belly open up. And as you exhale, feel how everything softens without collapsing the spine. So there's still a gentle tension just to keep your spine upright and tall. The heart is open and lifts. And for a few moments, just breathe, noticing the little pause at the top and the bottom of the breath. Take one more full round of breath, sustain with the awareness of the breath. And then place your hands to your heart center if you like, either in Anjali Mudra, so palms touching or one on top of the other, and set an intention for your practice. Maybe you'd like to send some energy out to somebody else, some healing, some love. Maybe you're sending some love to yourself or cause or word, making it not just about the physical practice. And let's take a deep breath in together and sigh it out. Good, and then blinking your eyes open. Good. I have a playlist for you, it's in the comments, um, I hope. Um, otherwise, I will let you know my name on Spotify, Blue Sky Flyer, and there's some plays for you that you could play during your practice if you like. Let's start. Bring the arms out to the side. Take a nice long deep breath and breathing in, reach the arms up. On the exhale, pushing the arms out to the side and bring them back down. And again, breathing in, lift the arms up. And exhale, bring them all the way down. Three more. Breathing in, reach up. Lengthen from the side of the ribs, exhaling down and breathing in and exhaling. And one more breathing in, lifting up, interlace the hands above your head. Keep squeezing the fingers together so don't let the thumbs uncurl. Keep everything nice and tight. Lift up, lift up to the sides of your ribs, straighten your arms. 
Let the back of the neck be long, draw the ribs slightly in and imagine you're trying to reach up to the ceiling. Now breathe fully and deeply into the sides of the spine. Exhaling back. Come a little higher through the palms, press up through the heels of the hands, breathing in and exhaling. And one more deep breath and exhaling. Releasing the arms out of the side and interlace them behind your back, clasping the hands together or hold your elbows. Lift up the chest, draw the chin to the chest until you find a gentle stretch at the back of the neck and then move the hands away from your buttocks. If it feels nice for you, you can start to fold forward slowly and again breathing, not straining into the shoulders, breathing in and exhaling, draw the belly in and see if you can lift the arms away from the buttons. Two more breaths. And to release on the next inhale, coming back up if you were falling forward. Bring the hands out to the side and change the clasp, the cross of your legs. <laughs> and let's do that again. Take a breath and reach the arms up. Change the clasp of your hands. So bring the other thumb in front, the one that feels unusual, and then lift up through the palms, nice and long, keeping the hands together. Squeeze into the heels of the hands. Three breaths, breathing in, exhaling. Keep the ribs drawing down towards your hips, but straighten the arms and reach. One more breath here, breathing in and exhale. Inhale to release, open the arms and change the clasp of your hands again behind your back. Lift up the chest and one more time, draw the chin in and fold forward. Breathe and lengthen. One more breath here. And release, coming all the way back up. Good. Bring the hands down in front of you. Come to a tabletop position. Knees underneath your hips and hands underneath your shoulders. Take a little cat cow, open the chest. On the exhale, tuck the tailbone and rounds through the spine. And keep going, breathing in, stretching out the heart forward. Engage the back muscles, exhaling, tuck your belly in towards the spine, round through the shoulder blades, inhaling and exhaling. From here, come back to your neutral position, tuck your toes under, press into your hands, arms nice and straight, draw the navel in, little tuck of the tailbone and lift your knees off the ground. Feel the energy in your core, so if you want to really deeply engage the core, breathing in and exhaling, keep pressing the hands into the floor, so you're not collapsing in your shoulders, you're pushing the floor away. See if you can bring your knees slightly lower, and until they're nearly touching the floor, this is harder. Two more breaths here, breathing in and exhaling, keep the engagement of your Mula Bandha and Uddiyana Bandha, so activating your locks in your body in the no lower core muscles, one more breath, and slowly bring the knees back down, well done. Walk your hands forward, untap the toes, knees stay up over the hips, and then draw the chest through the arms, maybe your forehead comes onto the floor, maybe your chin. And we're going to take little circles in the shoulders. So rounding up into a cat, exhaling one direction first of all. Rolling through the spine, exhaling, drawing the chest down. Keep going for three and rolling down for four and down and for five and down. One more for six. We change direction, go the other way around, rotating through the upper back. And for two, imagine you're doming into the shoulder blades. For three, tap the tucks and you push through. For four, and you push through. For five, and you push through. And for six, and come back to center. Just lift one time into a little cat and then draw the chest through and hold here for three breaths. 
trying to keep the arms nice and strong and straight opening up through the heart rotate the shoulders away from your ears so armpits are facing down to the floor so an active anahatasana and release coming back up walk your hands back towards you underneath your shoulders give your shoulders a little roll maybe a little twist a little turn in the spine relax your head and let's come to our first downward dog hands pressing down to the floor and tuck the toes lift your hips back and up if your hamstrings are still quite tight keep the knees bent press the chest down through the arms roll your shoulders away from your ears and then start to walk out through your heels so a little little walk pressing one heel down and the other warming up the hamstrings keep the neck nice and soft and then keep your right leg straight bend your left knee go the right heel down to the ground and just look under the right armpit whilst keeping both arms straight head relaxed and then change bending your left right leg, a right leg look under the left armpit stretching out to the left leg and one more time straightening the right leg bending your left knee looking under the right armpit and change over right leg bend left leg stay straight and come back to center good and then from here rolling forward into a plank position take a nice high plank pressing into the hands and bringing your knees down this is your variation for chaturanga if you are a beginner bending your elbows so the chest comes forward working your arms and then untuck the toes and roll yourself slowly down onto the floor breathing in adjust your hands lift the chest open the heart pointing the toes squeezing the glutes and exhaling, folding down, press into the hands, tuck the toes, push back into your downward facing dog. Start to walk yourself forward, slowly, step by step, pressing into the hands until you come to the front of the mat. Feet can touch together, or can be, killer, can be hip width apart, relax the head, shake it out for a moment, and then rolling yourself up, tucking the tailbone, coming all the way up to standing. I'll move my mat a little bit. You can see me a little bit better. Like so. I think this is good. Yes. Good. Ooh. So, we're going to do some salutes from here. Arms by your side. Open the chest. Activate the legs. So, draw up your thighs up towards your hips. Tailbone softens down a little bit. Activates through your core muscles. So, Uriyama Bandha, your navel lock. Your root lock, root lock mula bandha. So, lifting up through your pelvic floor a little bit. Over the chest, rolling the shoulder blades down. So you're not standing like this or this. You want to find a nice reach up through the crown of the head. Good. If you have space, you can reach the arms out to the side. If you don't have space, maybe you want to reach them forward. Here we go. Finding, first of all, your breath. So close again your eyes if you like. And cultivate in your body this breath that sounds a bit like the ocean. So a nice ocean like breath. A soft hissing sound at the back of your throat like the sound of ha and it sounds like this I don't know if you hear this through my speakers I try to do it very loudly but if you didn't hear it just imagine that sound gently helping your practice to stay focused, to stay with the connection of breath and movement. Here we go. Inhaling, reach your arms up towards the ceiling. You can look up or you can look forward. On the exhale, draw the navel in, folding forward. Uttanasana, head comes down to the shins, hands next to your thigh, uh, your legs or onto your shins. Inhale, come up halfway. Activate the shoulders, roll them back. Hands down to the floor, step yourself back, I plant one breath here, breathing in, open the chest. On the exhale, beginners knees down, otherwise chuck to run that elbows back. Inhale, roll over the feet, upward dog. Legs straight, opening the chest, draw the navel in, squeeze your glutes. Exhaling, push back into downward facing dog. 
Let's keep warming up through the feet. Inhale, lift up your heels. Come to tiptoes. Exhaling, drawing the heels down. Three more. Inhale, lift up through the heels. Exhaling, heels down. Inhale to lift through the heels. Exhaling down. Last one. Inhaling, slowly coming up. Exhale, bend your knees, look forward. Stepping, hopping or walking to the front. Legs to the chest, halfway, open the chest. Exhale to fold, head to shins. Inhaling, arms reach up, pressing into the feet. Exhale, let's go down again, folding forward into Uttanasana. Inhaling, halfway, expand the heart. Hands down, step yourself back, hop back if that's in your practice. Hold it for one breath in your plank, breathe in. Exhale, I'll do the knees down, elbows back, chest forward, chaturanga. Inhale, open the chest, low cobra, pointing the toes or upward dog. Exhale, tuck the toes, push back, downward facing dog. Well, this time I'm going to roll forward. Inhale, lift the heels, roll all the way forward into your plank. Exhale, bend your knees, keep your arms straight and bring the hips back and up. Inhale, heels up, belly swoops in, roll forward into your plank. Exhale, bend your knees, arms stay straight, hips go back and up. Inhale, heels up, roll all the way forward to a plank. Exhale, bend your knees, hips go back and up. Well done. Inhale here and exhale, bend your knees, look forward. Inhale, step yourself to the front of the mat, coming up halfway, open the chest, exhaling to fold. Inhale, arms out to the side. Reach up to the heart, exhaling, folding down one more time into Uttanasana. Inhaling, halfway up, expand the heart. Hands down, step or hopping back into Chaturanga, belly in, chest forward. Inhale, upward dog, open the chest. Exhale, down dog. You can always make the choice which one you want to do. Inhaling, we're going to roll forward again. Heels up into a plank position. On the exhale, you're going to bend your knees to the left, heels go to the right. Hips reach back, arms stay straight. Feel the stretch in the left side. Inhale, come back forward into a plank. Exhaling, heels to your left, bend your knees. Reach the hips far back to the left side of your mat. Inhaling, coming forward again into a plank. Exhaling, chaturanga, belly in, chest forward. Inhaling into your heart, opening low cobra or upper dog. Exhaling back into downward facing dog. Good. One breath here, breathing in. Exhaling, finding the downward dog. Bend your knees, look forward. Inhale, step up or walk to the front of the mat, lengthen halfway. Exhaling to fold. Inhaling, arms up to the sky. Hands to your heart, samasthiti. Good. Surya B variations, bend your knees, Utkatasana, chair pose. Finding your chair, knees go forward, activate through the glutes, draw your navel in, arms reach forward, or up if that feels comfortable, try not to hunch your shoulders. And then folding back down into Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhaling, halfway, expand the heart. Hands down, step or flow back. Shatsuranga. Upward dog, lift the chest. Exhaling back to downward dog. Three legged dog, lift your right leg up to the sky, point the toes. On the exhale, draw the knee forward, bending the knee, stepping the foot in between your hands. If this is challenging, bring your knee down, otherwise, just keep the balance. Lift up the arms, breathing in. Left leg is straight, breathe in, lengthen. Exhaling all the way down, frame your front foot, step back into high plank, chaturanga, belly in, chest forward, upward dog, lift the chest, exhaling back to downward facing dog, other side, lift the left leg to the sky, breathe in, exhaling, draw the knee forward, belly in, scoop the foot to the floor, inhale, arms up, high lunge, Exhaling all the way down, frame your foot, so hard to talk and do this at the same time, and then lower down, Chaturanga, upward dog, lift the chest, that's why it's so important to keep your breath going, exhaling downward facing dog, good, dolphin, bring your knees down to the floor, 
Bring your elbows down. Interlace your hands and make sure that your elbows are right under the shoulders. If you're unsure, take your hands and clasp the middle of your arms. So if you're doing this, your elbows are too far out to the side, so do it sideways. So I want you to really clasp the arms like a hook, so you really feel that you're supporting your body. Elbows right underneath the shoulders. Then, hands clasped together, relax your head, push into your feet, and push the hips up. Your head is not touching anything, so head is loose. Now look your feet closer, towards your elbows without your shoulders coming forward. And we're going to come to dolphin. You can either hold it here, working on drawing your heels down and pressing your elbows down into the floor so you lift yourself up and away from the shoulders. Or we're going to come to five dips or ten dips. I'll do ten. So breathing in, come forward with your nose over your hands. Exhale, pressing back. That was one. Inhale forward. Exhale two. Inhale forward, exhale three, inhale forward, exhale four, inhale forward, exhale five, five more, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Good. Bring your knees down towards the floor. Bring the arms forward, open the knees wide, come to child's pose for a moment, maybe wiggling out through the hips, side to side. Good. And from here, coming back up when you're ready into downward facing dog. Push the hips back and up, just feel how the arms feel. And then bending your knees, look forward, step or jump to the front, lengthen halfway open the chest, exhaling to fold. Inhale, bend your knees, Utkatasana, chair pose, and standing tall, Samastiti. Utkatasana again, breathing in, Utkatasana. And then folding down, Uttanasana. Halfway up, lengthen the spine, roll the shoulders back, engage the core, and hands down, step or float back. High plank, one breath here, breathing in. Exhale, knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Inhaling into low cobra or upward dog. Exhaling back into downward facing dog. Rainbows. Inhale, lift your right leg up into the sky. Point the toes, lift high. Exhale, draw the knee forward to the nose, round through the spine. Inhale, lift the leg up to the sky. Exhale, right knee to the right elbow. If this is challenging, you can do this on your knee. So a variation with the knee. Inhaling, leg up. Exhale, right knee to the left elbow. Touch the elbow. Inhale, lift the leg back up to the sky. Exhale, stepping the right foot forward between the hands. Windmill your arms open to warrior two. I'm in the wrong position. I need to readjust my mat. Here we go. <laughs> We're in warrior two. Keeping your hips in the middle between your legs. So you're not leaning forward with your body. You want to stack yourself right into the middle of your legs. Press into the feet, reach your arms either way of your body. Little flow, taking a long breath in, straight to the front leg, exhaling, bend your knee, go a little deeper, keep strong on the feet. Inhaling, arms up, exhaling, bend. One more, inhale, reaching your arms up, exhaling to bend. Bring your right elbow to the right thigh, draw the knee out to the side, and then open your chest to the sky, keeping the neck long. Breathing in here. Rolling that left shoulder down. One more breath. From here, reaching the arm up and over. So you're finding a long line of energy from the left foot all the way up to the hand without collapsing your shoulder. So you have to keep lifting yourself up and away so your leg has to be strong. And to test this, you're going to reach that right arm up and away. Just three breaths. You can do this if it's too much. Keep the elbow to the thigh. Breathing in. One more deep breath here. Breathing in. Rotate the chest to the sky. Exhaling. Well done. Hand up to your thigh. Inhale. Lift back into your warrior two. 
and then from here we're going to windmill our arms down, left hand inside of your right foot, wiggle the foot out to the side, lift your back heel into a little reverse twist, so arm up, keep the neck nice and long again, exhale, bring the hand inside of your right foot for a little lizard, rocking back and forth, keeping the chest nice and open, well done, breathing in. And exhale, bring the left knee down towards the floor, untuck the right toes and rotate onto the right side of the foot. Maybe you want to place your hand and just rotate the thigh a little bit out to the side just to feel how the hip feels at this time. And slowly coming back, framing with your hands, your foot, bring the foot into centre, walk back through the hips, lift the chest up, inhale, and exhaling, drawing the head down towards the shin. Two more, breathing in, open the chest, exhale, draw the head down to the shin. One more, inhaling, open the chest, exhale, drawing the head down to the shin. Good. Slowly transfer the weight forward, walking your hands forward, hand underneath your right shoulder, Lift up your left leg in height of your hip if it's available. You can let go of the left hand and bring it onto your left hip. Try and straighten the right leg. Good. And then for a moment, see if we can maybe open the left hand to the sky into Arshandrasana. Maybe the hand is down. Maybe, oops, it's on the fingertips. I should look at the camera. <laughs> That's distracting me. And then everyone bend your knee maybe slightly, very carefully. Ooh, ooh, here we go. Start shaking today. Open your arms, point the back toes, and as slow as you can, step that foot back. Oh, straighten your front leg, make the stance a bit shorter, trikonasana, hinging from your right hip. I'll do an exaggerated hip thing there. Bring the right hand down, I saw it in the video. Terrible. And then lift up the left hand, drawing the chin in and open the chest to the sky, lengthening your right side and shortening the left side of the body. Find your right hamstring, keep the leg engaged. And then look down to the floor, bend your right knee, come back up into warrior two and then windmill your arms down to the floor, stepping back into high plank and do your vinyasa. Inhaling into opening the chest, exhaling back into downward facing dog. Yeah, wiggle a little bit through the hips. I have to check what the message says. Oh, it says message. Oh, great. Edit this out. Yeah. Other side. From here, lift up your left leg into the sky, point the toes, breathe in. On the exhale, draw the knee to the nose, round to the spine, chin to the chest, or maybe you can touch your knee with your nose. Inhale, lift the leg up to the sky. Exhaling, left knee to left elbow. Inhale, leg up to the sky. Exhale, left knee to left, ah, oh, right armpit, sorry, right armpit, or right elbow. Inhale, up to the sky. This is a moment I notice I'm the wrong way around. Exhale, step the left foot forward between your hands. Right heel down, middle and your arms open to warrior two. And I'm going to change over. You won't even notice. Choo! Ha! Ah, here we go. <laughs> left arm reaches forward, right arm reaches back. Good. Little flow. Breathing in. Arms up. Activate the legs. Exhale and bend your left knee. Inhaling. Arms up. Exhaling. Bend. Left knee. One more. Inhaling, arms up, exhaling, bend your left knee, good. Finding that nice, strong stance in your body, roll the shoulders down, left elbow down towards the floor, breathe in, palm faces forward, and then just open up through the spine. Keep your neck relaxed, keep tucking the tailbone, squeeze the right glute, draw the belly button in, nice and open through the chest. And then maybe reaching the arm up and over and let go of the left arm. Just three breaths. Keep opening the chest to the sky. Strong in the legs. One more breath. You can do this. Here you go. Breathing in. 
exhaling, you did it, well done. Hand down to the floor, right hand down and lift up your back heel, bring the left foot out to the side, simple twist, opening the chest into the other direction, pressing through the right heel and then bring left hand down to the floor and do a little gentle rock back and forwards into your lizard. If you can get the outside elbow down, if you want to go a little bit deeper, you can, of course. And then bringing your right knee down and just rotate the left upper thigh out to the side, coming onto the side of your left foot. And then coming back, walking your hands back, framing your foot, breathing in, exhale, drawing the navel in and fold over the leg. And again, breathing in and fold. And last one, breathing in and fold. For a little balance, walk forward, transferring the weight into your left leg, left hand underneath your left shoulder, lift up the right leg. When you've got the balance, right hand onto your right hip, flexing right toes or pointing them, your choice, and then reaching up through the right arm. If you have a book or something, you can support yourself. Keep opening up through the side. And then slowly letting go, bending your left knee, pointing the back toes, coming back into warrior two. That's it. And straightening the left leg, make the stance a bit shorter, hinging from your left hip and reaching forward, hand down towards the shin, open up through the chest for your Trikonasana. Breathe and feeling it in your left hamstring, opening up through the spine, maybe you're feeling it in the side. And then looking down, bringing the hands back down to the floor, bending the left knee, step back into your high plank, and then lower down to Chaturanga or bringing the knees down, open the chest, inhaling, and exhaling, pushing back into a downward facing dog. Nearly there, so bring your knees down, we're just going to come to a little bit of a back work. So from here, finding, first of all, your tabletop position one more time, and working into our core. So we're going to lift our knees off the ground, hold this engagement, and then we're going to dip down ten times through the knees, for ten, for nine, for eight, for seven, for six, for five, for four, for three, for two and for one. Finding that core work, slowly bring the knees down, feel that engagement, and then walking your hands forward and roll yourself onto your belly. Bring the feet together, point the toes, bring the arms by your side, fingertips pointing down, Shalabhasana, lift up the shoulder, blades if you want to squeeze them together, and then lift up the legs, open the chest forward, keep your neck slightly tucked in, lengthen the legs nice and strong, Hold it for another three breaths. And release. Go. A little gentle wriggle with the hips. Bring it back to our mat. Okay. And then bring the hands behind your back, interlacing the fingers, pointing the toes, squeezing the hands together, lift the chest up. And again, three breaths here only. And release. Second class I'm doing in a row. <sighs> okay. And then from here, let's come to a little bit of a stronger one. Arms forward. Oh, I'm walking up my mat. My mat's too short. Arms forward. And then from here, lifting up arms and legs. Holding it. Keep the legs super strong. Just three breaths. You can do this. Feel how strong you are. Feel the back lifting up away from the floor. One more breath. And release down. Wiggle the hips out. Well done. Good. And then from here, check what's happening. What did it say? 
Low battery. Ah, oh, that's what it meant. Okay, <laughs> nearly there. So from here, bringing your hands underneath your shoulders, lift yourself back up. Good. And then coming into a downward dog, bending your knees, look forward, step or jump through, two seated, legs out in front of you, point the toes, and slowly roll yourself onto your back, just for a little bit more back bending, bringing the feet in, knees are pointing up, take a breath in, and on the exhale, lift up through the hips, this should feel quite nice now, maybe shimmy your shoulder blades closer together to reach for the inside of your heels, or if it's available, you can interlace the hands underneath your buttocks, bring them in close, press them to the pinky sides of the floor, and then arching into your back, open your chest towards your chin, I'm not the best backbender, but I do like this pose. Lift up through the heels, pressing into the heel of the foot. And then slowly releasing the arms, rolling the spine down, upper middle and lower back. And then just dropping the knees either side of your body. Little release of the body. Good. And from here, coming to a twist. So bring your left leg over your right, crossing it over. Maybe if you can double twine, double entwine them. So crossing them over. Then bring your hips over to your left side, arms into a cactus, and then dropping your knees gently over to the side. If this is too much, you can just straighten out the right leg and hold maybe your left leg with the right hand. Staying here, just letting the spine juicily soften, keeping your shoulders and arms on the floor. Try to really let go of any tension. Slowly coming back, untwining the legs, wriggle the hips back into the center, and give it a little wriggle if you like, and then crossing your right leg over your left leg, hips over to the right, and then drawing the knees over to the left, releasing any tension. Be careful. This side has to be a little bit more careful, it's a little bit more tight than the other one. So I sometimes just take a hand and place it as a fist of support under my knee. Until my body loosens up a little bit. Slowly release, coming back to center. Untwine the legs. And then bring the knees into your chest for a moment. Give yourself a little hug, maybe walk side to side. A little massage for the lower back. And from here, start to lengthen out one leg and then the other. Giving your legs a little shake. And then you can prepare for your Shavasana, bringing the arms by your side. Or maybe you'd like to place the hands on your belly, or belly and heart. I'm just going to remain here for five minutes. Feeling the earth embrace the weight of your body. Relaxing your feet. 
your ankles, your calves, relax your knees, the thighs, the hips and the buttocks. Let the belly become soft, just embracing the rise and the fall of your breath. Relax your ribcage, the back and the shoulder blades. Relax the front, the collarbones, your arms all the way to the fingers. Feel a wave of release as you breathe in. Move from the crown of the head all the way down, the arms, the torso, the hips and the legs. Washing away any last tension or worry. And then feel your face and the softness of the air on your skin. And let the face become soft and gentle. Just a few more breaths. And then take a deep breath in through the nose and sigh out through the mouth. <sighs> and start to move your fingers and your toes. Reach your arms up over the head and give yourself a nice long stretch, pointing the toes, reaching your arms up. And then you can bring your knees into your chest one by one, drawing your chin to chest, give yourself a little hug, say well done. And either rocking maybe up and down the spine or you can roll sideways and gently push yourself back up. Rock it up and down to the side of the back. And once you are up, keeping the eyes closed if you can, coming back into a nice seated position, bringing your hands to your side, closing the eyes, just feeling how your body feels now after the little practice. And then bring the hands to your heart center. Take a deep breath in. Let's take it together. Find that intention again in your heart and exhale, sigh out. Wherever you're going, if it's the start of the day, the middle or the evening, I hope you have a really nice feeling in your body and your mind. And thank you for joining. Please tune back in for some more classes or follow me on social media. Namaste everyone.